All right, for the marinade, you're going to use one cup of buttermilk into a Ziploc bag. And one teaspoon of Creole seasoning. Mix it up. Next thing you're going to do is get your chicken, uh, roughly around a two and a half to three pound chicken. Go ahead and cut off the tips of the wings. You won't need to use those. Then you'll cut off the wing. Just look for the joint. You get your legs, and roughly you're gonna get eight portions. Then you need the thigh and the breast. Go to the thigh, kind of break the joint there where your thumb is. Cut along there. And then finally the breast. Backbone, we're gonna save the bone. So we'll save these and make for stock and then cut through the breast right down the middle where the kill bone is and then right down the middle you can actually cut out part of the rib save that for stock You should have eight portions. There's your two thighs, two wings, two legs, two breasts. Let's get them into the bag. And let those marinate at least an hour. It's better if you let them marinate overnight. Make sure you mix it really good. Seal the bag. And then remove any extra air. And then go ahead and continue to seal. And then let that sit in refrigeration for at least an hour overnight, preferably. All right, next step is you're going to get one cup of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and then a, a good rounded tablespoon of some more of the Creole seasoning. So I've got a tablespoon, I should say. You're gonna mix it up thoroughly. And we're gonna have a large batch of this, but if you're gonna make this at home, this is the recipe, so we're gonna use one and a half cups, of, or one cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch. The so cornstarch gives it that extra little crisp, crispness. Then you're gonna get your chicken. Out of the buttermilk mixture, and place them in your flour and make sure you dredge them really good. So again, get it on there really, really good. You're gonna place it on a half sheet pan and we're going to let them sit overnight. If you do this at home, a good hour to an hour and a half would be sufficient. So you get your chickens, Place them on there, and we're gonna leave them uncovered. Wanna build that nice little, the air to kinda hit that 
flour and give it that little extra crispiness in chicken. So get that in there really good. Smash it down. And there you go. This is what it looks like. We'll get that in refrigeration uncovered. And then we'll uh, let that go overnight. All right, in a pot, you're going to get two tablespoons of butter or one tablespoon of butter. Okay, make sure it's completely melted. Add one teaspoon of garlic or two cloves of garlic. Make sure you get that nicely sweated out. You'll start to smell the garlic cook. Don't burn it. And once you get that garlic slightly cooked, you're going to add a good tablespoon of flour. One cup chicken stock or water. If you add water, you can add a little bouillon cube, which is about a half a teaspoon. Bring it up to a simmer. It'll begin to thicken. Then you're going to add a heavy cream or half and half. A teaspoon of poultry seasoning or sage. And you'll have your gravy or your mashed potatoes. Of course, adjust with salt and pepper. All right, we're going to grab a pot here. We're going to add roughly two large potatoes or four small ones into a pot of water. Add a good tablespoon of salt into your water. And we're going to go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, we cut them into small discs and we'll let those go until they're all completely soft. You'll check it with a fork or a knife. You can just, they'll, they'll go in real clean when they're done. Okay, once, um, again, just check it with the fork as it goes in nice and clean. It's completely done. Turn it off and drain it. All right. And you already have some salt in there, so you may have to add a little. Get your heavy cream or half and half or milk and or butter. And just smash them up really good to the consistency you like. If you like them thicker, if you like them thinner. And then, of course, you're going to add some salt and pepper. First, taste it to see how much salt it has in it. This one has just the right amount of salt. I don't need to add any more. Add some pepper. If you want to add some garlic, some granulated garlic, you may add that too. I like mine a little more peppery. And then we'll add some granulated garlic. Remember, not garlic salt, but granulated garlic. potatoes all right so you're gonna get your we're gonna probably deep fry ours here if you do it at home get it in a pan check your temperature around 350 if it's a little lower go up to around 350 or so so we're around 347 which is good then you're gonna get your chicken now what we did is we refrigerated this for about an hour again the longer the better and the longer you do it Crispier it'll be. Place it in your oil. And we're going to get it nice and golden brown. 
and then we're going to place them back on the pan and finish them up in the oven. You could you could do them in these pans, but it's not going to takes a lot longer if you do it in your oil. So again, be careful that you don't put too much oil that it overfills. So again, I'm going to try to get most of these in. And once we do that, we'll turn them around. Alright, so then we're going to flip. And again, it doesn't matter if it's not too brown, we're going to finish it off in the oven. So we're going to flip these and give them another two, three minutes. And they're good. Alright. Then we're going to transfer to a half sheet pan with a rack. This is going to be an important step. You want to make sure that you have a rack, a baking rack. Place them in. Preferably, you want to probably go your wings in the center and then your thighs and the breast on the outside because it'll cook a lot faster from the outside to the inside. Maybe on opposite sides. I got a little couple of extras here. We'll place these on. And then we'll get the rest of these and these will go in onto the rack and then we're going to place them into the oven. Alright, then we're going to get our last pieces. They'll go right into the oven. And we're looking at anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Alright, after the chicken is pulled, go ahead and serve it up with some mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn.